A light shines to the west. The tech news calls. Will you answer? Full reviews for Intel's 11th gen Rocket Lake desktop processors are out, including the one that I did over on our technology related YouTube channel, Linus Tech Tips. What? What's that? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It seems uh, a little bit niche, you know? <laughs> It's none of those tech news over there. It's, it's about dropping things. Yeah, mostly about dropping things and tips about how to drop things more, more efficiently, you know? While the Core i5 11600K has gotten a decent performance upgrade over its predecessor, the 10600K, the new Core i9 11900K has not. <laughs> I'm not even, there's a question mark on there. I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> it trades blows with the 10900K and doesn't manage to beat AMD's Ryzen 9 5900X in most scenarios, but that's fine. Pat Gelsinger wasn't around for the development of these chips, okay? This is the last lackluster launch from Intel. The, the next ones, the next ones are gonna be good. They have to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but there's a, there's a cherry on top of this sad story. Remember when Intel did that big marketing blitz about how Ryzen laptops wait 10 seconds before boosting to full power? Well, the developers behind the custom power management app Ryzen Adjust, or ADD, ADJ, Adj the Ryzen Edge, have figured out how to remove it. So Intel's 12th gen chips better be real good because they're running out of ways to make their processors seem competitive. They're blue though. They are blue. So it's easier but on the eyes. That's the opposite. Blue light's good for the brain. Yeah, but, mm, a researcher has conducted a study measuring how much data Android phones collect compared to iPhones and concluded that Android sends 20 times more data back to Google than iOS sends back to Apple. The study's author, Douglas Leith from Trinity College in Ireland, says that Android collects data for more apps and services than iOS, even when users have opted out in the OS settings. In response, Google released a statement saying they identified flaws in the researcher's methodology for measuring data volume and disagree with the paper's claims. Oh, okay, okay, my mistake. Here's uh, more of my data as an apology. Thank you. <laughs> Good thing I use an iPhone. Google says that Android is compatible with many more apps, services, and devices, so they have more data to send. Oh, how thank you. <laughs> and more love to give. And I've got to admit that that kind of makes sense. But 20 times, Google, it might be time to admit you have a data problem. We're putting in rehab. <laughs> no more data. And Microsoft has won a nearly $22 billion with a B government contract to supply the US Army with augmented reality headsets over the next 10 years. The company has been working with the Army to develop what it calls an integrated visual augmentation system, or I guess as the Army is gonna call it, IVAS for versions of the HoloLens. And I guess the army liked it because you don't just drop $22 billion on something you only feel okay about. Like that's love money. Like what's next? A marriage contract? <laughs> Get a room, you two. <laughs> to be fair, there aren't a ton of other AR companies that the army could partner with. They're probably not eager to try out Niantic's AR glasses, which the company's CEO teased this week, along with a trailer for a concept game called Urban Legends. Although some GI is definitely gonna find a way to install Pokemon Go on his standard issue HoloLens. The, the Arcanine to the left! Oh no. There's a, there's a squirrel over there across the river. You better go go catch it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Vulpix in the, in the LZ. <laughs> now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by iFixit's Mahi Driver Kit. This thing is a beast designed to help you with the twistiest and torquiest screws out there, including Torx. The Mahi kit includes iFixit's quarter inch aluminum screwdriver handle with a magnetic bit socket, knurled grip and swivel top, along with 48 steel driver bits selected using data from thousands of repair guides. These are the most helpful bits I know. I trust them. There's Phillips, flatheads, spanners, squares and splines. Splines, I tell you! Head to iFixit.com slash techlink and upgrade your toolbox with iFixit's Mahi driver kit for just $34.99. Splines! Quick bits! Oh my god. NVIDIA has finally enabled beta support for GPU pass-through to Windows virtual machines running on the Linux PC. In slightly more plain English, that means that Windows virtual machines on your Linux computer will be able to use your graphics card. This was technically possible before, arguably kind of easy, but it's going to be even easier now. And wait, are, are you falling asleep? Just, guys, this is cool! Okay. Linux Nation right Tux! Ah. I... Linux. You. Linux. Lewis Rossman has had enough. 
The electronics repair guy and YouTuber has started a GoFundMe campaign to get a right to repair legislation passed through the direct ballot initiative. Rossman wants to hire the same firm that got right to repair laws passed in Massachusetts. So if you believe in the cause, go check it out. This story really should have been before the iFixit re it, it really should bad. have been. Yeah, so that's my bad. Yeah, yeah. Apple may be working on an Apple car, but Google's one step ahead. Sor sort of. Not really. Fiat has partnered with the web giant to integrate the Google Assistant into a special version of the Fiat 500. It comes with a free Nest Hub, which you can ask for information on the car's fuel level, and you can tell it to lock your car doors too. It's called the Fiat 500 Family Hey Google. I'm sure it sounds better in Italian. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try the accent. Family Hey Google. PayPal has announced Checkout with Crypto, a new feature that will allow customers to pay with cryptocurrency on any site that supports PayPal. At launch, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash are supported. No word on Dogecoin just yet, but I'm sure they'll see the benefit to adding that one because it's the cutest cryptocurrency. <laughs> and also, it was a meme. Who's a little crypto? Oh, it's so adorable. And it's not April Fool's here yet, but some companies have already jumped the gun with hilarious pranks, including Volkswagen, who said that they were changing the company's name to Volkswagen. Ha ha, ha. <laughs> I, I, I like the electricity. I, I, I like Rockets better. They announced the Burst HE, a gaming mouse with helium pockets, making the mouse lighter than air. <laughs> that actually is a dumb idea, but I love it. If you think these are really dumb, Google agrees, since they've canceled their usual foolish hijinks for the second year in a row. It's because you're not actually allowed to joke during a pandemic. Oh, no. we're, we're not allowed to continue this episode any longer either. Come back on Friday for more tech news when you shall be called upon once more. Come tech news. People! Away! Yeah.